Welcome, Virgo, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you could visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. Or you could uh, book the extended, which could be found in the description box below. Or you can become a member by clicking on the join button on my channel to receive all extended readings for the price of one. You would get extra benefits such as discounted readings exclusive to members only. So without further ado, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Virgo, so let's go ahead and see. Who is the person that you're connecting to in love? What is the energy or vibration of the person that is connecting to my lovely Virgos in love? What is the energy of the person that you're connecting to in love? What does Virgo currently need to know about their love life? Let's go ahead and see. Okay. <laughs> so the first card that came out was liberation. I'm setting myself free and embracing new experiences. So uh, right now your person is liberating themselves. And I also see here revealing. I'm ready to express what's been on my mind. So what they're really thinking or revealing is that they want reconciliation with you. Seeing you again reminds me that life is better with you in it. Okay. So what I'm feeling Virgo is that there is a person of your past that is wanting to return. Uh, this individual would like to reconcile with you. They um, set themselves free. Okay. Um, but I really feel like they're coming back. I feel as if uh, they want to tell you uh that they want to make amends okay perhaps uh they had freed themselves from the connection possibly with you but i really feel like this person wants to to return that's the feeling that i'm getting so let's see what else spirit can you please reveal to me what is the hidden truth in regards to the person that is connecting to virgo and love What is the energy or vibration of this person that is connecting to you in love? What is the hidden truth? What else do they want to say? Two more messages, please, Spirit. Thank you. I hid who I really am from you. So your person really wasn't being open or transparent. That's what I'm seeing. And also, I want you. So your person wants you. And I feel like they want you back. And finally, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So maybe this person realized that maybe they were just a, a passerby 
uh, to kind of cope with whatever personal pains that you have. I really feel that maybe you were broken, okay? Maybe uh, you're already hurt and this person helped distract whatever situation that you're going through at the time. And because of that, because your person um, kind of understood where you were coming from as they got to know you, they hid their truth from who they really were okay now your person i feel that um they freed themselves from this connection and they really want to reveal what has really been on their mind they really want to reconcile with you they want you okay so uh your person is really adamant about wanting to uh, return back uh into a connection with you so let's see Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of this person that is connecting to Virgo in love? Spirit, please clarify the energy of this person that is connecting to Virgo in love. How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What do they want? And... What are they going to do about the situation? What is their challenge? And what is the outcome? Thank you, Spirit. All right, let me go ahead and fix my mic. <laughs> Wow, so your person is free. Um, I feel as if they're single. They're actually well-to-do. Maybe they're a business person, an entrepreneur. Now, the very first card that came out was liberation. I'm setting myself free and embracing new experiences. So I have a feeling that your person has freed themselves from this connection uh, when it comes to you. And during this time of separation, I have a feeling that uh, they've been working on their business, maybe their career. Um, you know, I really feel as if your person has really been working on themselves. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And also, uh, they feel left out in the cold. So even though that they have liberated themselves, I feel as if they hid who they really were from you. And what they were hiding was that they were hurt. Okay, they were hurt because of the separation with you. Um, now everyone's situation is different as to the reasons why, um, your person had liberated themselves from this connection. Uh, but that's what I'm definitely seeing here so far. And it could have been because there was a karmic that got in the way. So maybe your person was hurt because there was another person, uh, that was, um, more demanding of your time focus energy and attention and so instead of fighting for the connection they they just kind of let you go that's the feeling that i'm getting here and your person didn't really fight for you um they just accepted um whatever the situation ship as it was and they loved you your person really wants to uh, express how they feel. They definitely want to reconcile with you or possibly let you know how much uh, they love you. And I see that they have made a decision. Okay, and they decided to really stay stuck in their head. So I feel that your person wasn't open with you or communicating to you um, about their decisions and uh, reapproaching you. I feel that they were keeping it more to themselves. And exactly, they're holding back their feelings. They feel as if they can't really open up or express how they feel towards you. You know, this person really hid who they um, really were from you. And what, what it is, is that they actually had feelings for you. They miss you. They love you. And uh, I'm also sensing that, you know, they had a hard time of making a decision, okay, about offering their feelings towards you. Now, I feel as if maybe it was a missed opportunity. Um maybe uh your person lacks uh the ability to pursue you in the physical 
you know, they really feel like uh, they were not good enough for you. They didn't have enough. That this person is really coming in really small. That's what I'm seeing. And they really want to leave the past behind so that they can make amends. They definitely want to come forward and communicate uh, towards you. That maybe for some, they're actually traveling towards you. So if you've been in a physical distance, I feel as if your person wants to come and, and meet you some way, somehow. Okay. Now, they're not very clear with their, their motives or their intentions, or perhaps uh, their intuition here is a little blocked, and they feel like they have to protect themselves because they have been really hurt from whatever situation, and that's why your person is coming in uh, a little bit guarded from what I can see, but they're not too guarded, you know? I see that they're actually holding themselves back, and they've made a choice to really heal okay to really work on themselves for some your person feels that maybe it's a missed opportunity maybe um you know like this will never come into fruition so there's a little pessimism here on your person's part whether or not you guys could actually come together now what they're thinking and feeling and what they're actually doing are two different things what they're thinking and feeling is that they still love you they think of you but um, your person feels as if maybe uh, there isn't an opportunity for you guys to get together okay definitely you know your person really wants to reconcile but I feel like there's not enough action on your person's part to make it happen but just know energetically that they're feeling this it could be because someone here needs to get a divorce okay um your person feels as if uh, there is no justice and possibly approaching you for whatever reason uh there's a sense of duality here uh i definitely feel like um there has to be uh an equal exchange uh, or some sort of a balance because things were not done fairly in the past that's what i'm feeling it's because of a deception of not really being honest and they keep thinking about the past i feel like in the past your person really wasn't able to express how they felt towards you they weren't able to fully uh, openly express their love it is what i'm hearing and they're heartbroken they're heartbroken because they never had the chance to tell you how much they love you that's what I'm getting. You know, maybe they showed you in different ways. Maybe your love language and their love language are two different things. So that's another thing to really consider. Uh, I really feel that you both have different love languages. That's what I'm hearing also. And what I'm also seeing is that they feel that they've missed this opportunity to have a genuine, beautiful, emotional, deep, loving connection with you. And for some, they felt as if they had to leave a relationship to really pursue this with you. Emotionally, they couldn't offer you what you're looking for. Someone here in this dynamic is really broken, but I have a feeling that your person realized that maybe you were a broken uh, person, and so they... they um, held themselves back from exploring or pushing things a little bit further because your person understood uh, that maybe you needed uh, healing work okay because this has something to do with family and relationships and being emotionally available and your person felt as if they couldn't open up uh, completely because someone here was closed off emotionally okay this could be uh them this could be you but i'm definitely seeing that and and that's the reason why your person felt as if uh maybe they exhausted their means to really try to work on this connection okay and so they are making observations they really want to work on this or maybe they put themselves into work because uh the very first card i see is that you know your person is working on their independence for some you know you could be dealing with another earth sign okay i definitely do have that vibe here and um they are thinking that they exhausted everything again they feel that um they've done everything that they could to really work on this and it, you know things really didn't work out um they're hurt you know i feel like your person is alone 
You know, there's a lot of um, communication going on in the 5D. So this is mind to mind connection. Okay, uh, more thoughts rather than um, actual physical communication. Your person realizes that um, there is a situation that needs closure. Okay, there has to be an ending of a cycle. So they're actually uh, trying to release uh, whatever that is really weighing heavily on them. I feel that, you know, for some, your person is moving or traveling. Okay, travel is very much on this person's mind. Uh, you know, for some, your person is thinking about uh, moving into a different location. Okay, that's what I'm also seeing. Maybe it's because, you know, they tried to work on this connection and never worked out. So they're looking to move uh, to a different place. And uh, they have a lot of pent up hidden emotions when it comes to you. That's what I'm saying. Now, for some, you could be dealing with the Cancerian energy. But I see that uh, they're making plans. Okay, they're, they're taking uh, the initiative to move things forward. Okay, because they feel as if they can't offer much to you in the physical. I feel like your, your person has tried and um, they want closure. They want to end this. For some, you're done with a Scorpio. And it's in regards to investing long term. So honestly, I really feel that your person really wants to have an ending of a long term commitment. But if your person wants reconciliation, Either your person is in a commitment and they want to get out of it so they can be with you. But I see that they're actually free. Okay. I feel like your person is, is really single here. You know, so what that tells me is that maybe for you, Virgo, you're actually in a commitment that they're waiting on you to release so that uh, you guys could uh, rebuild uh, a, f a firm foundation. And that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, I feel that your person really wants to communicate that they're not able to reciprocate much to you. And uh, maybe there's a financial concern here. Maybe uh, the money situation is a bit tight and they really want to come in and communicate that they, they really want to work things out with you. They want a partnership. So you could receive communication from uh, this particular person within two months. It could be a fire sign, okay? Sag, Leo, or Aries. Could be a water sign too, but they're emotionally held back, okay? They they really want to move things forward. They're very passionate when it comes to you. They definitely want to reconcile. So perhaps, you know, within four days, maybe a day to four days, even like a month, Okay, it could be within this week. Your person really wants to pursue you. I definitely do see that. You know, I'm really getting uh, some mixed messages here. For some, your person is completely single and they're ready to travel towards you to make amends. For others, you know, they're actually in a physical distance where they have to travel towards you. Um, but I really feel like this could be a business trip. Or it could be a trip in general. Maybe you guys are making plans to meet up with one another for reconciliation. I definitely do see that here. And, you know, your person has really been hiding their, their true feelings when it comes to you. But I really feel like it's because someone here was in another commitment or a situation. So uh, because of those circumstances, and it could be a way of being or uh, just a personality trait, right? Um, your person held back, you know, their full uh, to be with you. So let's see. Your person really wants to grow into the situation. However, you know, your person is feeling bored. Okay. Uh, things aren't really growing in the way that they would want. And how they're feeling is that, you know, there's some sort of attachment and they feel as if they can't really move forward. Okay. Now, what is it that they want? They want to communicate that they want to get out of the separation with you. Okay, I feel like your person has done the healing work and now they want to talk. So if you feel that this is your narrative, I'm going to go ahead and take the rest into the extended. And in the extended, we're going to go over uh, the actions that your person is going to take. 
Also, we're going to talk about、um, the obstacles and、uh, also what is the potential outcomes、uh, in this person、uh, who wants to reconcile with you.、Uh, I also go over some messages from spirit and、um, some guidance. And、uh, for, the, uh, for the ones that is going to join me on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and pull some charms. And this is going to be specific、uh, for the ones who are going to be watching、uh, the extended readings. So、uh, I hope that you、uh, join me on the other side.、Um, I really hope that this is helpful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website. It's www.scorpionmoon. Intuition.com, or you could um, you could actually book the extended reading. The link is down in the description box below. And again, if you like to watch all of my extended readings, you can definitely become a member and you can cancel at any time to watch all the extendeds. So I hope to see you on the other side, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. <music>